Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to part... Or, welcome back to another video. This is day... Ugh. Hold on. This is day 32, part 2. Um... So, in the first video, we, um, reviewed the first floor and the second floor. And then, um, today, in part 2... Well, I, I shouldn't say today. Um... Since it's only been like half an hour since I uploaded the last one. Um, but today, I just did it again. Anyway, in this video, we are going to be going over the third and fourth floor. And, of course, the roof. Um, these are personally my favorite floors because it has a lot of action. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So, on the left is what we reviewed earlier today, and on the right is what we are going to be reviewing in this video. So, let's get started. Alright, so, here's the third floor. Here's what it looks like, like, from the, from, like, the coming out angle. Um, really cool. I'm actually, just in case, because this is, like, really delicate, I'm going to, take off the front facade that way you guys can get a better look at like just how far out he is so he is pretty far out and then all this stuff is bursting out and then you can see there's fire and spider webs and all that jazz so the character in question here here, I'll put this back over here. So this character is um, the Green Goblin. And he's got his little little thing that he flies on. And he can throw grenades off of. He has a really cool... Okay, this... Uh, why does it always do that? Uh, one moment. Is that better? Not really. Okay, we'll just do it like this. He's got a really cool torso print and leg printing. And then on the back, he also has a cool torso print. And then there's fire. That way you can zoom around. Lucy, what are you doing? And then the rod just goes in right Oh, I forgot it's not connected. The rod just goes in like that. And then the other floors. So the first floor doesn't have a front facade that you can take off. The second floor does, and it doesn't connect at all um, to the building itself. It only connects to the bottom studs. So it is the same same setup like this it's locked it's not locked in place that way here i'll show you guys what i mean it can just you know casually do that um but this one is actually locked in place so if you see this little bit um you can see that's a spot for where um, studs can connect. So, this floor, and this floor only, has a front facade that actually can connect to the build. So, I think that is pretty cool. Considering the other builds, if you did that, it would just fall straight off. And I have another example. This one, over here, is also loose. So... This is the only one. And I'm assuming it's because it's front heavy. For example, um, when it's just sitting like this, it could fall over. Um, oh, I guess it can't in that case because it's touching the ground. But look, see, it just fell over because this was no longer supporting it. But now, oh, it's still okay. Oh, well, he's toppled over. Now it's supporting it. Okay. We'll just reattach it. Um, 
So, yeah, that is the front facade. Beautiful. All right, next up, we are moving off to the right, where we can meet our next character. This is Mysterio. He is flying, and then his head is just like that. Um, He's got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. He's got a 12-pack, so yeah, well, don't watch out for him. And then if you lift up, the, lift up his cape, he does still have printing. So I think that is a nice touch. And then he just sits over here. Ah, uh, there's no one and nothing on the back. You know what? I'm just going to take off the front facade. The front facade is like bugging me now because the Green Goblin keeps on like doing spins. Okay. And then there is a back door. Oh my god. I just realized you guys can't see. Okay. There is a back door. And that is only and that, that is only because if you remember back to the last video, there is a balcony, so this door would just walk out right onto there. There is also a light lighting it up. Don't forget about the fire escape that is still going up. This wall is all windows. Now let's get into the actually pretty bland interior. We're going to go from right to left um, because I feel like when you get off the elevator, that's the way you would go. So I'm gonna lower this a little bit, raise this part a little bit and then lower this a teeny bit more. Alrighty. So, if you look off to, in, uh, if you look in this area, you will see quite a bit of stuff. You will see a copier machine over here. You will see the newest papers. You will see some boxes. You And then you will also see a spider and a spider web. Um, yeah, then there's the elevator. And then if you look in the back, there is a camera, some pizza, and then some shelves. And that is blocking the, um, door. So, here's the door. Now, if we go over to this side... You can see that this door right here doesn't, or this door doesn't actually have a door. It's off the hinges. Um, so, yeah. And then there is the front desk for Peter Parker, because he works at the Daily Bugle. So there is his office. Um, and then he has a picture of Spider-Man on the wall. And, um, he also has a bulletin board with some sticky notes. Alright, so, first I'm going to do all the minifigures on the third and, or on the fourth floor and the roof. And then I'm going to show you the fourth floor and then the roof. Because, like, characters such as Doc Ock, Spider-Man... Miles Morales are connected to the roof from the second floor or vice versa so Doc Ock is suspended in the air but he's connected at these two points and then Miles Morales and Peter Parker or in Spider-Man are also in the air but they are connected at these two points so without any further ado let's get into these figures Alrighty, so first up is Doc Ock. He has, um, like, his arms are so cool. It is like, 
it's amazing how they made this, but it's also like uber delicate. So yeah, that's kind of an issue. Um, but you guys can kind of see his torso. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. The next two figures are off to the side. On the right, we have Spider-Man himself and then Miles Morales. First, let's take a look at Spider-Man. Spider-Man is your basic everyday figure of Spider-Man. Nothing special, but I do like that he has arm printing and back of the head printing. And then the second figure, Miles Morales, is super cool. I it, The new movie just came out this summer, and I loved it. I can't wait to see the second one next year. Um, the hoodie print with the um, suit is really cool. The hoodie, like the hood of the hoodie on top of the head is really cool. The bat, or the Spider-Man symbol on the back is cool. And I like his little web shooter. So let's get them back in place. There's Spider-Man. And then up here. There we go. So that he, Miles Morales, is shooting at the Venom Carnage scene cause since they're fighting. And then Spider-Man is going after the Green Goblin. And then, um, yeah. So, um, Ghost Spider is also in this set. And, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. Oh, it just broke. Okay. Um, we're just gonna do this. Um. So, Doc Ock just broke. He just lost his arm. So, it's still attached to the main sign, unfortunately. Um, so, Spider, or Ghost Spider is right here. She has a web shooter somewhere. I just can't find, oh, here it is, it's on the floor. So she is shooting like this, just lower down. And she is shooting at um, Mysterio since he is flying away, or at least trying to fly away. We'll just tuck that in here. And then there is about five more figures. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, five more. So we have to go up for this one. To, speak, to see um, Spider-Ham in his car. Um, so that is really cool. Here. Here is Spider-Ham. I love this figure so, so much. And then here is his little Doom Buggy car. And he just hangs on the wall as if he was driving up. There we go. Um, he's gonna hit the sign though. So that's a problem for him, but he'll figure it out. He's a Spider-Man. Oh yeah, there's, there's his arm. We'll have to fix that later. And then we're gonna go back down and go into the office to see, um, J. Jonah Jameson. He is the owner of the Daily Bugle. He's a pretty cool fellow. He's got a whole suit and tie deal going on. Yeah, I'm trying to like do this pretty quiet. Pretty, I said fast and quickly at the same time. Pretty fast and quickly. Um, Because I don't want this video to be too long. Then we have the assistant, Betty Brant. Um, she's cool looking, I guess. And 
And then there is two there are two more. The first one is um Firestar. Here she is. She's cool looking. And then she has a full thing of fire that she's on. And she sits on the top antenna. Like that. So that's cool. Last but certainly not least, the last figure of the entire set. Unless I missed one in part one. But I know I didn't in part two. Um... Actually, hold on. Let me let me look to see. Um, I don't think I did. No. Um, anyway, so she is the last one. She is Black Cat. So let's take a closer look at her. Oh God. Um, this is awful. Maybe if we turn this way. There we go. There's a glimpse. Um, so yeah, she just stands up here admiring the thing she just stole. And, um, yeah. That is the figure. So now let's take a look at the third floor. Sorry about that. I realized just now that I said um, third floor when I actually meant the fourth floor and the final floor. Um, so, looking into where you get off the elevator, there is a beautiful bl sky blue and a nice desk. She has a... Um, here, let's zoom in. She has on her computer a um, computer and then a keyboard. And then if we go up, you can see the news. And if you think that looks familiar, it's not because you've seen it online. It's probably because you saw that same exact billboard on here so you can see that thing is the same as this thing so yeah so that is the same as that um, so yeah cool stuff anyway I don't know what my flight camera is doing it's being really weird today. Although, then again, I've done a lot of filming with it today. Um, then, in here, there are three big windows. One, two, three, and then a door to get into this office. And then inside this office, there is a big stack of newspapers right there. A computer right there. You can't try to point right there. And a keyboard. Oh! Might as well take it out. Here's this stack of newspapers. It says rewards for photos of Spider Man. And then there's the computer saying to Peter Parker, You're fired! Because he had just find found out that he was actually Spidey Man. And then, in the back, you can see there's a coffee mug, and then two trophies, and then, like, some weird meteor-looking thing. Um, here, if I turn around, you'll be able to see. So, there it is. There's a meteor-looking thing. Um, dude, what is my tripod doing? 
Um, and then on the back, it says, Just the Facts with J. Jonah Johnson, Jameson. Oh my god, I'm losing it. Too long, too long of a day. I started recording at like 4. It is currently 8 o'clock. That is crazy. Um, and then there's another air conditioning and a bird's nest on there. So, on to the roof we go. So, all I have to do is go up to take a look. So, you'll see this is daily bugle with a bugle in the center. Um, really cool touch. And then, if you actually take the sign off, you can see behind it. There is a water tower put on backwards. Um, you get the gist. Um, hold on. There we go. There's the water tower. And it does have some stickers. One is of the Green Goblin. And one is of Miles Morales. And then behind here is the two-story tall antenna where I actually need to raise up my tripod even more. Oh my god, that still wasn't enough. So I'll just do it this way. We'll unlock a third level and then we'll go up. So there's the base, there's the first dish. First, first, second, third, fourth dish. There's Firestar, and then finally there is the top. Actually, believe it or not, this thing is so tall that when I put it on my shelf, I have to do this. I have to take Firestar off. To take all of this off because this bit is too tall so yeah that's crazy to me that that lego produced a set that couldn't fit on my shelf because it was too tall um i just think that's crazy also this antenna falls over for me 24 7 I, every time I move it, it falls. I don't think I've ever had it not fall. Um, it even fell the other day when, um, so the other day when I was recording the Beehive, um, video, which I know to you guys came out like a couple weeks ago, um, but here's the thing. I recorded, um, a lot of videos in one day, so I thought I would get to the Daily Bugle. So I didn't, um, but in the beehive video, you saw that I knocked over my tripod, but it was to the point where like, it made the building shake hard enough so that the antenna fell over, even though it didn't even touch the antenna. It hit the third floor and below, not the fourth floor or the roof. So yeah, it like, it like wobbled enough so that it would fall. And it fell. Um, and it shattered. Um, but yeah. If you guys enjoyed both parts of this video, leave a like and a comment saying which part was your favorite. Um, because I know my, par my favorite part was probably this part. Because it had the Doc Ock scene, the Miles Morales and Spider-Man scene, and it also had the... Um, Green Goblin scene. Um, but maybe you're, you like part one more. Maybe you like the billboard, the newsstand, the carnage and venom scene, and the Sandman and, um, Daredevil scene. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below which part you guys liked more. Um, I'm pretty sure my comments are turned back on. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, like I said, leave a like comment, um, and subscribe. And as always, peace out. 
I will see you guys on October 1st.